Welcome back everyone. In this video we're gonna draw this part. Um, it's called special cam. Um, in this tutorial we're gonna cover several um, new commands and functionalities in AutoCAD including ellipse and polygon, uh, how to use offset, extend, trim and fillet. So some of these are review of what we've covered in the past and some of them are new object snaps and tracking the object snaps or O snaps and also layers that we have covered a lot with uh, different line weight and line types how to add a center mark like this and uh, how to draw center lines and how to use LT scale if you're new to this channel um, you can go to a playlist I have and if you're new to AutoCAD you can follow along the, this playlist that starts um, you know I have video that covers AutoCAD from the very beginning of what it is how to download it and uh, what's the user how, how, to, how to go about using the uh, user interface um, yeah towards the end to help to prepare a title block and border you know, how to uh, make a printout uh, with a standard scale. Um, for this particular tutorial, um, we're going to draw this object. And as in previous videos, I always try to build a strategy. So what I can um, do about this, I can look at the, the way the dimensions uh, are placed. And if, if there is a datum, meaning if all dimensions are starting from a surface or a point. Um, but, but it seems it's, that's not the case. Um, I have few dimensions that start uh, from the center. Um, I, have, um, I have some overall dimensions like this and that. So um, what I can do, I can draw the ellipse. Um, then I can draw this circle and this circle with this distance and diameters. <clears throat> I can draw the polygon and all. The the most intricate part of this part is this section. So um, I know that the center of this arc is here. I can draw that. And then if I have this arc or this circle and this one, I can make fillets between this arc and this part of the circle. I can make that fillet with the radius of 0.25. Okay. So that's, that's the way. Um, I'm going to draw this. As you see, I, I, I draw this circle with the center and then I made two fillets and then I can trim the extra pieces. Um, to draw a polygon in AutoCAD, there's going to be two options. You're going to see AutoCAD is asking for um, when, when you hit polygon to draw a, in this case, a hexagon. Um, AutoCAD is going to ask you are you going to circumscribe um, the polygon about a circle like this? Or are you going to inscribe the polygon inside a circle? So depending on what dimension you are given, like in this case, I have this dimension, 1.5. So that's going to be a di the diameter of a circle inside this polygon. So if we look at this, um, so this dimension is given in this particular tutorial. So we're going to choose this option. The polygon is cir circumscribed about a circle. So we're going to use that option. And um, to start off, uh, I'm providing down in the description of this video two templates. You can start off from there. Uh, the good thing about these templates is that they do provide you um, a lot of layers of ice, um, that you can utilize uh, to draw your visible lines, your outline of the part and your dimensions and everything will be placed in different layer. Um, so you can go ahead and choose your layers that come with these templates. Also, um, they're, t they're, they're layout. Um, that within the layout you're going to see a standard title block and border so they come with these templates and uh, depending on um, if you're using NC standard or ISO you can use either one 
So let's go to AutoCAD. Um, already downloaded the, this template, the NC inch, the units are inches. So um, I'm gonna um, start off with this template. I've already copied and pasted this image to do my screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this as a DWG file. Um, let's say version 2010, uh, special cam. Let's make it version two, for instance. Okay. All right. Um, as I mentioned, um, if you start off with any of those templates I provide you down in the description, you're gonna have a layout with title block and border with the viewport that you have. You can double click inside the viewport and then zoom in, zoom out and assign a standard scale. For instance, in this case, um, one to two or half a scale. Double click out. Let's go back to the model. Um, Let's delete that. Um, I'm going to grab the ellipse. For ellipse, if you click on this arrow, you have some options here. I'm um, going to grab um, this option. You can use this one as well. So center can be anywhere. OK. I'm going to pick this point now, the top. Um, quadrant point of this ellipse. As you see, I've got the length and the angle. Um, if, if you don't have that, make sure your dynamic input is on. Uh, if you don't have that, it must be here. Um, dynamic input, turn it on. Okay. I escaped out, so I'm going to go ahead and click back. Ellipse, that's the center, top qu quadrant point. Um, so that will be half of this 4.25, that will be 2.125, and the angle will be 90 degrees. So you can switch with the tab key, tab key, type 90, press enter. So that, that was this point up here. Now it's asking for the horizontal, uh, let's say right side um, quadrant point of this ellipse. So that's good. The distance from the center to this end would be half of 6.5. So that will be 3.25 and press enter. So that's the outline of this part. Next, I'm going to add this center line. Okay. To do that, um, I'm going to change my layer to a layer that I can use to add my construction type of lines that I wouldn't print. I don't have a construction layer. For that, I'm just gonna use this viewport layer. Um, I believe this wouldn't be printed. And we can check that layer properties. Um, yeah, viewport wouldn't be printed as you see here. Um, this is collect. Um, so the, the printer, um, there's a sign on it that wouldn't print. So you can click or unclick. Okay. So um, I'm going to use offset, and you will see why I'm using offset. Okay, so that's explode. This is offset. Uh, if you follow along the command bar, it's asking specify offset distance. So for this, I'm going to assume 0.125. Press enter. Select the ellipse, and you can select either in or out. In or out. I'm going to select out. Escape. I'm going to pick this and change the layer to viewport. Okay. Um, one thing uh, that um, I'm also going to use here is I'm going to draw a circle. Okay. And before doing that, let's draw a line from this quadrant to this. Um, if you don't have these object snaps, make sure you come here. Click on the triangle, make sure your quadrant is on. Okay. Gonna escape out. Let's say click line from there to here. Okay. Let's draw a circle. You have several options. I'm just gonna grab this one, center radius from there to there. Okay. Now um, I'm gonna change my layer to center line and go to annotate. 
grab center mark and pick this circle right there. As you see, I wanted to draw this center mark, um, this center line with a mark right at the center of this EF. So that's why I needed that. Next, um, I'm going to eliminate that red line right there. I'm going to extend this part of the center line all the way to this ellipse. To do that, I need to explode this first so that I can turn this single, single entity into multiple entities. Right now, this looks like a block, so everything is attached to each other. So I'm going to go ahead to Home, Explode, and select the center um, center line or center mark and click there one found and then press enter right now we exploded this entire thing into multiple entities now I can extend this all the way to the CFs um, to extend <coughs> you can simply type extend this is another way to run any command extend press enter and as you see, when you get closer, make sure you click on one end of this. You don't want to click here. You want to click on this side. Click there. It's going to extend to the closest object. See? Right there. Uh, I'm going to do the same here. Click there. And again, click there. And press Enter. And then you can go ahead and uh, change your layer to visible line. Go ahead and turn off the port layer like that. As you see, we now we are able to <coughs> um, to draw this center line all the way and this one and center mark right at the middle. So after that, we can go ahead and draw this circle in that one. So I'm gonna grab this one, center radius. So um, I'm gonna draw this circle the distance from this quadrant to here is 0.75 so what you can do make sure your dynamic input is on right there get closer to it do not click but then track from it you see that now if you type 0.75 press enter it's going to grab that point i'm going to repeat this escape see this is 0.75 right let's grab the um, circle with center radius. Uh, make sure um, your your object snap is on. Your your O snap tracking also must be on so that you can track from this quadrant point. So I got closer to it. I wouldn't click. I just get closer to it, then move to the left. Now I'm gonna type 0.75. Uh, for the distance from the quadrant to the center of this little circle and press enter so I got that and then <clears throat> the diameter of this is uh, 0.625 so to enter diameter you see that there's an option there and D is highlighted so you just press D for diameter press enter now it's asking for diameter right so 0.625 is the diameter I'm going to repeat the same thing for this circle. So the distance from center to the center of this circle is 1.5 and the diameter of the circle is 2.76. So for this one, I'm going to grab center diameter, get closer to this, do not click, just um, track from it. See that? Closer to it. Actually, uh, what was the distance? Uh, 1.5. So get closer to it and then move to the left. 1.5. Press enter. Diameter is 2.76. Press enter. So that's that circle. Okay. Next. We're going to draw the polygon as I mentioned. Um, since this dimension is given, the flat to flat is 1.5 or the diameter of the circle, we're going to use this option. The polygon is circumscribed about a circle. 
Okay. So to draw a, a hexagon that has six sides, we're going to um, pick polygon. So you might have polygon here. If you don't have it, you can simply type polygon. You can add to these options here as well. Okay. So you can just type polygon right there. Press enter. A number of sides is six. For a hexagon, specify center. Center will be the center of this. So we're gonna grab circumscribed about the circle, right? And then we're gonna type. Um, it's asking for specify re radius of circle, right? And we're gonna type half of 1.5. That will be 0.75. Right there. Okay. 0.75 is half of that. Next, we're going to draw a, this arc as a circle. So the radius is 0.75. Grab the center. Radius 0.75. Okay. Now we're going to grab this arc. Uh, however, we're going to draw it as a circle first. The center is this quadrant. Right. And the radius. 3.62. Now we're gonna grab fillet. Radius for this one is 0.25, and for this one is 0.5. So click on fillet, and uh, there's an option here called radius R is blue or highlighted in capital. So I'm gonna type R for radius. Specify fillet radius. I'm going to type 0.25, press enter, and then pick this and this. Okay, let's grab that again and again type R for radius. Yeah, specify fillet radius 0.5, press enter, and then grab this and this. Okay, so we are done on this on the drawing section of this geometry we have a lot of trim to do let's go ahead and grab trim and trim that extra piece there that extra piece here and this piece and right click enter i can simply select the extra piece and delete now um, we're gonna mirror this section about this line mirror this arc this arc and this one press enter and command bar is asking specify first point of mirror line specify second point of mirror line and erase source object no no is default you just press enter okay after that you're gonna trim the extra pieces here and there that's it. All right. Um, this sums up what I want to cover in this video. I hope it was useful for you. To support this channel, please like and subscribe. Thanks.